Welcome to Digital Scrapper Tutorials. I'm Linda Sandcast with a lesson on one of the cool new features of Photoshop Elements 9, Style Match. We're going to take an ordinary digital photo and turn it into a vintage postcard. So start by selecting an appropriate photo. Here in the organizer, I'll click on this photo of my husband and me at the coast. Then come up to the file menu and choose New and choose Photo Merge Style Match. If you've already opened a photo in the editor portion of Photoshop Elements 9, then click on the Guided Edit tab up here in the upper right corner, and you'll have a number of different guided activities you can do. Come down to Photo Merge and click on Style Match. So when you get inside this dialog box for Style Match, you can just sort of follow the bouncing ball. Right here it tells you Drag Style Image Here. Photoshop Elements comes with some preset styles and you'll see them down here at the bottom. If you want to add your own styles, you can click on the plus sign and that will add images to here that you choose. You can also get rid of images by selecting them and then clicking on the little trash can. I'm going to click on the ghost town image and drag it up into the style image box. So now you see that my photo has changed over here. The style intensity will always be defaulting to the max amount. So to see what each of these sliders do, you can move them, and I like to just drag them all the way one side or the other, and you can see that now my photo is back to normal, so somewhere in between here is probably going to work. Maybe I'll bring it a little bit more towards the right. So another thing you'll need to decide is whether or not you want to transfer the color tones from this photo onto your photo. And in this case, I do want to transfer the tones. So down here at the bottom, it says Transfer Tones. Just click right there, and it will transfer those colors over to your photo. Now if I went all the way to the right over here, you'd see how intense that is. So sometimes it's best to decide this right at the beginning so that you know what you're doing when you move the sliders. This slider here that says Style Clarity, if I move it all the way to the right, it'll really sharpen my image. Down here, if I click on Enhance Details and move it all the way to the right, I get a very posterized image. So most of the time on these two sliders, I'm going to leave them around the center part in their default settings. To erase some of the style effect, click on the Style Eraser tool. Now let's go to another view here, After Only, so we can see our photo a little bit bigger. And I'll get the Zoom tool and let's zoom in a little bit here so we can see. So let's come back over here to the Style Eraser. That gives us a brush up here, and normally the default is 100%. So if you click and drag with the Style Eraser, you can see it just takes you right back to the original photo. To paint that back in, click on the Style Painter, and that will paint that right back in. Now normally you'll want something in between that, so let's go back to the Style Eraser and come up to the Opacity and reduce it to around 20%. Now the other thing you can do is make your brush larger or smaller by pressing the right bracket key to make it larger or the left bracket key to make it smaller. I'm going to take some of the effect away from their face, but here's what I want to do first, is to soften the stroke edges, because otherwise I'd get a very sharp edge. So here I'm just going to click a little bit here, and that brings back a little bit of the original. And that looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little bit more over here and that looks good. So when you're satisfied, you can click on the Done button. Click on the Full tab to get back to Full Edit, and now you can see that the style is on its own layer with a layer mask. So if you know how to work with layer masks, you can continue to tweak your photo if you wish. 
And here's my vintage postcard. All I've done is add some type and style elements using the P22 Victorian font. I'm Linda Satgast with Digital Scrapper Tutorials.